everyone, it is Jamie and Skylar here and welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing something I've been looking forward to ever since we moved to St. Petersburg, the beach bar crawl. I do want to note though, there is a tropical storm out in the Gulf today, so we might have some rain delays or rain disturbances as we go along on our trip. Yeah, there's definitely some bad weather in the area. We'll see how it goes. We have a bunch of bars identified on the beach here. So come along with us to experience some of the beach bars in the St. Pete area. We started our beach bar crawl at the Undertow Beach Bar on St. Pete Beach. I'd say that the Undertow is probably best known for being a casual bar with bikini wearing bartenders. Basically the hooters of beach bars. The Undertow is typically full of energy and on a day when a tropical storm isn't in the Gulf, these oversized chairs would be full with patrons. Oh my gosh, can you see this rain rolling in? We were able to enjoy the weather only for a bit at the undertow before the first rain band from the tropical storm rolled in. Once the rain passed, we walked along St. Pete Beach to the next bar that was on our list, which was Flippers, the beach bar that's connected to the Dolphin Resort. This turned out to be the driest leg of our beach bar crawl, as the wrath of the tropical storm was just beginning. Thankfully, our friends Trevor and Katrina were willing to continue with us on this ridiculous endeavor that had now become a tropical storm beach bar crawl. At Flippers, we tried the drink called the Lava Flow and had a delicious lunch. The Lava Flow was made with fresh fruit and was Skylar's favorite drink of the entire bar crawl. We had eaten at Flippers several times previously and knew that the food would be good. On this visit, we tried the quesadillas and the fried seafood basket, and both were excellent. As we were finishing lunch, the next rain band from the tropical storm moved in quickly, leaving us with the decision to wait it out or continue the crawl in the rain. While the wind and the rain were strong, our desire to explore new beach bars and sip new cocktails was stronger. More rain is coming. Our next stop was Bongo's Beach Bar and Grill. While it provided a nice break from the rain, we didn't end up getting drinks here as covered space was limited due to everyone seeking shelter from the rain. Bongo's is part of the Grand Plaza Hotel and while we really didn't get to experience it, it definitely looked like a place we would want to return to in the future. Thankfully, our third official stop, Rum Runner's Bar and Grill, was right next door. As one would expect, this bar offered a wide selection of rum drinks. We tried the frozen drink called the Chocolate Banana, which came with a floater of 151 on top. Skylar and I both thought it was quite tasty. Bar crawl in the rain, yeah. the best way to do it. Cheers. 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 After ordering, we realized that Rum Runners offers their drinks in 32 ounce buckets for $14. It was probably best that we made this discovery after deciding it was time to move on to the next bar. We're just now leaving the third bar in our beach bar crawl during this wonderful Florida weather. We dried off a little bit. It's sprinkling out now and we'll see what the next one brings. If you are considering planning a beach bar crawl, the St. Pete Beach area is perfect when there is not a tropical storm in the Gulf. Our fourth stop on the beach bar crawl was Salty's Beach Lounge and Tiki Bar at the Tradewinds Island Resort. Here we took the bartender's suggestion and ordered a painkiller and it did not disappoint. It's getting slower, isn't it? The Tiki Bar at Salty's was pretty small, but there was plenty of outdoor seating available. Despite the bad weather, the bar and pool area were both pretty active. After enjoying a bit of dry weather, we left for our next beach bar. If you made it this far with us on our Tropical Storm Beach Bar Crawl, we think you will definitely enjoy more of our videos which we'll be posting in the near future. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you won't miss them. We ended our beach bar crawl at Jimmy B's, which is located at the Beachcomber Resort. 
Jimmy B's is a large establishment that not only offers multiple bars, but also offers live music every single day of the year. Here we tried the banana split frozen drink. It was a little too sugary for Skylar's taste, but it was perfect for my sweet tooth. While the weather certainly was not what we had in mind when planning this beach bar crawl, we still managed to have a great time. We were drenched for a majority of the beach bar crawl, but not once did we have to think about applying sunscreen. Oh, oh man, it's not happening. It's the rain's already starting. The rain is coming! <laughs> the rain is coming! Oh. I'll do a video with you. Trevor will do the video. It's for Jamie, Saint Beach. Jamie and Trevor because Skylar, I guess, Jumping in for a little bit. But we're, we're going to try to do a beach bar crawl. It's, 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 it's kind of pouring now, so we're going to stop. <laughs> All right, whenever you're ready. <laughs> I agree that. That will make the blue for you. We're determined to make this beach crawl happen. 